Hello, my name is Stuart Lawler from Sight & Sound Technology. I'm here today to introduce you to the Braille Sense 6, an Android-based note-taker from HIMS, a part of Salvus Healthcare in South Korea. This is an ideal device for those in school, in college or at work, featuring a range of applications including a word processor, email client, calculator, file manager, schedule manager, address manager, web browser and because it's an Android device you can install all your favorite apps from Google's Play Store. The device comes in two flavors with 32 cells or the mini with 20 braille cells. It has a traditional braille keyboard with additional function keys for extra navigation and control and operation of menus. Let me show you some of the main controls on the Braille Sense 6. Our regular Braille keyboard with dots 1, 2 and 3 on the left, dots 4, 5 and 6 on the right. At either end we have dot 7 to the left of dot 3 and dot 8 to the right of dot 6. Dot 7 which acts as our backspace key and dot 8 which acts as our enter key. Towards the bottom on the left hand side there are two function keys F1 and F2 and two more on the right, F3 and F4. F1 will always take us to the home screen or main menu regardless of where we are in the application and F2 can be used to access menus specific to a particular application. For example, if you're in the word processor, you'll enter the word processor menu. So let's have a look at the word processor on the Braille Sense 6. The great thing about the word processor is that it feels very like Microsoft Word for Windows. So if you're using something like Office 365, you'll feel very at home. Better still, the word processor can save and open docx files so you can straight away share files with other people. I'm at the main menu. I can enter the word processor in a couple of ways, either by scrolling to it or using a shortcut key W for word processor, which is what I'll do. Top of document. I'm told I'm at the top of document and my cursor is on my braille display, meaning that I can start brailing right away. This is a test for the word processor. I can scroll and read back through my braille and make sure I, what I've written is okay. And when I'm happy, I can issue a command to save my document. File save dialog, file name. I type in the name and press enter. Saving, saving, save complete. One of the most popular features on the Braille Sense 6 is its calculator. This is fully UEB compliant and also has scientific options. Let me open the calculator now, which is located in the utilities menu. Calculator. I'll, I'll press enter. Start calculator. Blank. I can do a few very basic sums. Number sign 2, 4, in plus. Number sign 5, 1, 75. 24 plus 51 equals 75. But I can also access something called the functions list. So if I can't remember the braille sign for a particular function, I can get a list of all the available functions on my calculator and scroll to that function and press enter. General functions dialog plus 113. So I want to scroll down for example to multiply my divided by 3 multiply by 413 and press enter. 75 multiply by. So I've put in my multiplication sign and now I will put a number 15. Number sign 15 one, 1125. And there's the answer to 75 multiplied by 15. One of the most popular functions in the Braille Sense 6, and certainly the one that I use a lot, is access to Bookshare. This library of hundreds of thousands of books available in Ireland and the UK for free for people with visual or reading disabilities. I've opened the Bookshare app on my Braille Sense 6. Books 1, 4. And I can, I can search for books, periodicals, 
or I can view my download history, which means that books I have searched for on other devices will automatically sync and be available to me here. Let's do a quick search for a book that I may wish to read in school. Title one five. I can use a couple of ways to search, either by title, author, ISBN, keyword if I know a particular string of text in a book, or category. In this instance, I'm going to search by title. Title. I'm now asked to type in the title of the book I want to search for. I want to read the classic Animal Farm. Animal Farm. Space. And I'll press enter. Animal Farm. George Orwell 150. Well, there are 50 results, but it turns out the one I want by George Orwell is at the very top. And if I press the tab key, download book. I have the option to download the book and save it to my device and start reading. We mentioned earlier that the Braille Sense 6 is an Android device. And this is significant not only because you can install apps from the Play Store, but you can use some of Android's built-in tools and everyone loves the Google Assistant. Now you can turn Hey Google or OK Google on if you like. I have them turned off, but I can open the Google Assistant and do some voice searching. What time is it? It's 11.38 a.m. When is season five of The Crown going to be released? The 9th of November, 2022. According to Wikipedia, the fifth season of The Crown, which follows the life and reign of Queen Elizabeth II, was released by Netflix on the 9th of November, 2022. It was the first season of the series to be released following both the death of Prince Philip on the 9th of April, 2021. So you can see you can get a lot of information from Google by simply using your voice.